This is my story of my deck. Every deck has a story. What does yours say? This is a tale long ago of the Egyptian pharaohs discovered an ancient relic of, of an unstoppable mystic being of limitless power and effortless dominates every other deity in history past, present, and future. Worship, worship of the Forbidden One was punishable by death by the pharaohs and all in power for it would weaken their hold on the kingdom and break the chains and let loose those they have enslaved to do their biddings and let, let them have a glorious life. It would challenge everything. They would have nothing left. They still feared the idea of an all-powerful God who could one day free those enslaved from bondage. An old in the book of Exodus, which chronics the liberation of those and revenge on Egypt. So it was forbidden. So he was split into five and scattered into hidden archives and chambers never to be found again. But our, our story takes place in one metaverse. Although it was prohibited to, to go near the mystic mime caves. For it was protected and guarded by a Samoji soldier. For if any if in the wrong hands it will lead to the destruction of many civilizations and worlds that have come to pass and mentioned in the book of Eclipse. So he was not to be awakened and bonded and his name not to be speaking at all ever. But one guardian, Amasuratu, found it appropriate in order to have one day of peace for all the kingdoms. He could not be dark bribed by those in power, so he set out on a mission in search of the Witch of the Black Forest, for she knew what it took and to locate and set free Exodia by entrusting the fiend the legend the legion of fiend jester with her almighty wonder wand capable of doing breaking the chains which have sealed Exodia way long ago for it was protected by their wee witch's apprentice. Upon finding it, her, the wee witch's apprentice knew exactly how and was instructed to always guard the Wonder Wands for Fiend Jester by order of the Witch of the Black Forest. For they one day knew the legendary Exodia would be reincarnate and obliterate all those who had dark darkness in their souls and seek to control and dominate the world in the wrong hands. But yet he still went on with his mission. He went on searching found whatever witches were left in order to fulfill his destiny and bring peace to the world. Though it was creed all witches were evil, bad, demonic creatures, and the world was ordered to kill all witches, burn them at the stake, to try to erase them from history and existence so that no one could bring back or break the chains that they have 
so sacrificed so much to bond Exodia with. But with those of pure of heart, we'll never let those in power and dark remain. So, for one day, the legendary Exodia incarnate will be back. And his story will always forever be told and rewritten. He cannot just be erased. Never. This is my Exodia deck. And its story. What does your deck say? What's your story? Let me know. Make a video of your deck. Are you have running the same story as everybody else? Or is your story different and written in the stars? There is history with Exodia and the real Egyptian pharaohs. My biggest thing is just so puzzled and curious to who specifically went to one pinpoint time in history saw a deity that was bonded forsaken to say its name at all in hopes that they would erase him from history and said hey let me make him into a Yu-Gi-Oh card sub messages world within worlds so that history could not truly be erased this is his story this is my Exodia deck story what's yours leave a like if you like uh, leave a like if you enjoyed my story and it is a 40 card deck I am planning to take to regions if it ever comes to New York City again enjoy